Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In case you guys don't know who I am, my name is Nadia. I mainly do reviews. Uh, sometimes I'll sprinkle in like a tutorial or like some random fun video here and there. But overall, I do review videos. And today, we are going to be trying out the Givenchy Prisme Libre Loose Powder. It's a very, very fancy powder. Okay, we're gonna try that out. I've been seeing this all over Instagram and you know, just other social media. And I was just like, you know what? Let's give this a go. It looks pretty good. Don't know how it's gonna look on my skin tone, you know, cause it's pink. But before we get started with the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, ring that bell so you're notified when I do upload a new video. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you ever tried this powder and if you love it cause you know, I'm, I'm testing it right now. So let me know if you guys like that by giving this a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow me on my social media handle and let's get started with the video. Now, like I said, I did see this like floating all over Instagram and I figured why not? I love loose powders. I love, love, love my Chanel uh, loose powder. It gives me such a nice, beautiful matte, natural finish and doesn't make me look cakey throughout the day. And it's just a great powder, very finely milled. Um, so I was excited to try this one um, because the color is very interesting. They have several different colors. They have six different shades. So the shade that I grabbed was number three. It is Violet Rose. So it's like very pinky. Um, but there's pinks, there's peaches. So there's a lot going on here. Um, but the thing is all these shades go into like, they shift into one. I was very intrigued by that. When I first saw this, I was thinking, oh my gosh, like the green, the pink, it's gonna probably look too pink on me. And then the green and the purple, um, just like the colors, they look very intimidating because obviously you see green, you see purple, and then you're thinking like, what the green translate too much on my face and the purple and so forth, right? Um, but of course, each shade is catered to um, your skin tone. So this does retail for 72 whopping Canadian dollars. It is quite expensive. Holy cannoli. So for 72 Canadian dollars, I don't think you really get much here. Um, you get 0.42 fluid ounces or three grams. It's actually not that much. Um, in my opinion, but depending how much you use, of course, it could be worth it, could not. I forgot how much I got the Chanel one for, but for the Chanel, you do get a whopping like one ounce of product. And I've had this for a while and it's still a lot. And again, I only use this for the T-zone and underneath my eyes. So this goes a long way. So this, uh, this could probably last for a while as well, depending how much you use. So depending on you, you could think that's worth it. It's not worth it to me. It's $72 is a lot of money, but you're also paying for the name Givenchy, the formula, and you're probably not going to use too much of it anyways. So depending on the person, you may use a lot, you may use a little. So it just varies. So once again, this is a loose powder. It's supposed to give a matte finish, but it's also matte radiant. So this is great for pores. If you have dullness, uneven texture. If you go on the Sephora website, you can see that each color is designed to do a specific thing. So for example, the medium uh, shade, if the green is to correct redness, the purple is to correct uh, yellow or dark spots and so forth, right? Each color for each specific shade does, it has its own um, category of what it's supposed to do and correct on your skin. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is very, very chic. The top is leather with the Givenchy stamp on it. And as you can see, there are four sections to this. Each corner has a specific powder and this powder is designed to mattify, blur, and illuminate for complexion to a perfect makeup result. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys the tutorial uh, the demonstration and what I did to my face and everything and of course do check-ins, you know, the usual and to see how this wore out throughout the day. So keep on watching and let's go to the next clip. Okay, you guys, so I haven't set my nose contour yet. I haven't done my concealer yet. So maybe I should do that first before chit-chatting on about everything else. Where is my concealer that I want to use? Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Kosas Revealer Concealer in shade 5.5. So as this is drying, I'm gonna apply the uh, powder where I did my nose contour. This is supposed to be made for light skin tones. 
um, of course I'm not light skin tone right now because I got a tan but I want to brighten underneath in the t-zone of course so that's where that's gonna apply it does come with a puff nice great even though I'm not gonna use it but it's nice. So here it is. It has the four shades of pink right there. Hopefully it won't, too, won't look too pinky on me. And how the heck do you take this off? Got it off. Right, so I shook this up a little bit. It's a little bit pink, um, obviously. And I'm going to go in with a tiny brush and set my T-zone because I did my nose contour already. There's a slight fragrance there. It's nothing, it doesn't smell anything overpowering. Um, this is supposed to give a matte and radiant finish. Ooh, you could definitely see the, the highlight there. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my puff, my puff that I like, and we are gonna set the T-zone or the forehead. All right, we got a puff. I'm gonna go into the back side of it. I'm gonna dunk that in right there. Ooh, it's definitely matte. That's nice. Okay, so I'm going to blend out my concealer and then we'll be back to do all of this. All right, I'm not gonna set my eyes how I normally set because I wanna see how well this works on its own. So that's going to be a big test right there. So I'm going to set my, well, blend out my under eyes just to be sure that there isn't anything in my fine line. Everything is seamless. Taking that little powder floof, going in with a good amount of the product, stamp it in there, any excess. Ooh wee, this thing is matte. And again, there is a slight fragrance to this. It doesn't smell anything overpowering, but it does smell like flowers. And I hope that this actually looks good because I have to do some photos today. <laughs> Pray for me. All right, so what do we think? Does it look good? It looks pretty darn matte. I'm not gonna lie, it's it's mattifying me, that's, that's for sure. So obviously we're gonna do a wear test and I am only gonna be concentrating the powder underneath my eyes because I don't normally typically set my powder anywhere else. For the rest of my face, I use something else. I actually go in with a setting powder. I don't really go with translucent powder anymore. And also, I don't want the rest of my face to be looking pinkish anyways. Uh, so that's an, another reason. But I must say, I'm looking very matte and very blurred. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it definitely blurred out my pores. It's pretty nice. Um, we'll definitely obviously check the longevity of it. What do we think? Like from a before and after, it looks pretty blurred, right? It looks pretty darn blurred out. I look pretty darn matte, not gonna lie. I hope this will look, this will look good throughout the day. So I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face and I will see you guys in a bit. Of course, do some check-ins and see how this works. So right now it is 8.30. By the time I finish my face, it's probably gonna be about closer to nine. Um, or just a little after nine. So I'll check in with you probably like around lunch-ish time and see how it is. And yeah, so I'll see you guys soon. Okay, you guys. So right now it is 12, 1239, but basically 1240. So I had this on for about four hours now. Um, it doesn't look too different by like a quick glance but let's take a closer look so of course you guys know typically i like to use a my setting powder and then go on top of translucent just to help give it some extra uh, reassurance so this time obviously i didn't do that i wanted to see how it held up on its own so for four hours everything still looks matte still looks blurred nothing has moved or budged like my smile line right here, there's nothing there really, like nothing's collecting there. Under my eyes still looks matte and blurred, like my pores basically like vanished in a way. Um, nothing is settling into my fine lines either, and my forehead still looks pretty bob. So, so far, uh, 4 hour wear, pretty good. Not much to really touch upon um, for 4 hours, so I'll check in with you guys probably around about 
four o'clock, so another four hours uh, to see how how it looks later on so yeah i'll see you guys in the next four hours all right you guys so it is 3 53 it's almost four o'clock right now so we're just gonna round up and say it's four um where is my mirror like i i need to have a mirror on hand so for these four hours um i don't really think much has changed like around here it looks like my pores look even more blurred than before. I don't know how that's a thing. Uh, forehead still looks good. Nose still looks pretty on point. Everything still looks pretty matte, but with a hint of glow. I don't know if you guys can notice it, but I have a bit of like glow going on here, here, here. A little bit of tip of my nose there. Um, nothing has settled into my fine lines. Under my eyes is still pretty darn good. Uh, nothing's collecting in there. Nothing's even breaking apart around my nose either. I'm actually quite impressed by how mattifying this looks, but at the same time glowy and radiant. When I first applied it, I was like, whoa, this is matte. Like, holy moly. And I love matte, don't get me wrong. But throughout the day, it clearly is like giving me some nice radiant glow. And also, I was very afraid with the pink as well. I think that I thought it was gonna give me like pink but when i applied it it didn't look that way it just gave me enough of a brightening effect and again matte and glowy radiance to my skin i really like this so far i'm just looking inside of my mirror right here to see if there's anything else i can tell you guys but i don't see anything wrong um yeah, it looks pretty, pretty darn good. Still not a fan of the price tag. But for it to start off matte and you can see the nice glow and like just radiating like the uh, the glow, just the emphasis on the glow. It's so nice. Like, mm. I have to head out. I will be back in the next three-ish hours or so. And then we shall see how it is. Basically a full 12 hour day. I don't remember it's ever saying that it is long lasting. However, if it does, that is a benefit for sure. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, it has been a long, long day. I am taking the watch off. It is the end of the day. I'm done. So right now it is 8 to 43. It has been a full 12 hour wear. Let's take a closer look on what's going on with my face. I can see that it is starting to look a little worn. You can definitely tell that there is some more wear than what it was before. So I think the magic number is like eight to ten hours it's like somewhere around there depending on your skin type of course um, for me I think the breaking point was the 10 hour mark it's still passable from afar like it looks so nice but once you get a little bit closer you can definitely tell that it's starting to look a little more worn than how it once was however for almost a 12 hour wear it's actually not that bad i'm quite impressed with it so taking a closer look at my pores they look they still look pretty blurred under my eyes there's no settling whatsoever there is zero settling i am quite impressed with that so again for a 12 hour day it's not that bad i really like it like i still look pretty darn flawless so i definitely definitely approve of the givenchy prisme libre uh loose powder for 72 dollars it's pretty steep but for the benefits that it has that it corrects um dullness texture and all that other good stuff i think 72 dollars is worth it um considering the fact that you're not going to be using a lot of this anyways if you're just going to be focusing this under the eyes and probably just your t-zone i wouldn't recommend this for pouring all over the face because it would you would use up the product a lot quicker um, in comparison to just putting under the eyes and the t-zone so anyways you guys that is all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and again i definitely give this a thumbs up despite the price tag but if you can justify the price tag and the benefits and everything Yes, yes, definitely a good. I still give this a thumbs up despite the price tag, but still is a very, very good product. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, but before you leave, make sure you check out these other two videos right here if you haven't done so already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.